The Wombat State Forest is located about an hour and a half drive from Ballarat, Victoria. The land covers around 70,000 hectares and was primarily used during the 1800s for gold mining. During the gold rush, the land was intensively logged and used for mining purposes, and by the 1890s the forest was severely depleted of resources and was given the name Ruined Forest. Once the gold rush was over, the forest was abandoned and left to regenerate until the 1960s when it was discovered that restoration of the forest had not been successful. By the mid-1970s, logging was reintroduced through silviculture by a technique known as shelterwood, where up to 80% of the remaining trees were cleared. Gold has a significance in Australian culture, particularly through aesthetic purposes such as jewellery, gold dentures and ornaments, but it also has a significance within this forest. Most gold is extracted through open cut mines such as the proposed mining excavation for license MIN5349 and the substance gold itself will not have any environmental impacts. However, the processes used to extract the ore and the way in which guidelines are followed will determine any environmental implications. On the 16th of July 2001, an application for a mining license was applied for, and on the 18th of July 2007, mining license MIN5349 was granted to Mr Neil F. Stewart and Mr Barry G. Friend, whom have delegated to the Queensland-based company Fortitude Mining to carry out the mining process. The license covers an area of around 5 hectares and is located in the Wombat State Forest approximately 3 kilometres south of the village Bullerato near Dalesford, Victoria. The mining site will have dire impacts on the vital six headwaters, the Colobin River, Loddon River, Campase River, the Lerdadog River, Werribee River and the Maroubral River which not only provide water for the species in the area, but also for the people in the community. Along with concerns for water contamination, mining in the Wombat State Forest would involve clearing areas of forest and other vegetation. It raises significant issues about erosion, sedimentation and heavy metal contamination of the forest and its waterways. And with thousands of tonnes of material being hauled out for processing, a dramatic increase in the volume of trucks on the roads pose a number of serious safety issues such as damage to the roads due to the large amounts of weight, extra carbon emissions into the atmosphere, and as the road is passed to primary school, possibly causing unintentional health threats to young children. A number of species are endemic to this ecosystem, but there are many threatened species both flora and fauna that will be severely affected by any mining. The powerful owl, the spotted quail thrush, the square tailed kite, the spot tailed quoll, the growling grass frog, the masked owl, the musk duck, the brush tailed fasca gale and the common bent wing bat which is critically endangered. Threatened flora includes the matted flax lily, the wiry bossier, satin wood, Booker's gum, and the hairy beard heath. The clearing of a five hectare area puts all of these endemic species at a high risk, placing them closer to extinction. Trees can take many decades to grow and form hollows to become a suitable habitat. Even with a rehabilitation plan in mind, the damage is already done, and without a habitat suited to the particular species, the chances of survival are a sharp decrease. As a lot of these species are endemic, they aren't able to relocate and adapt to other ecosystems. If the trees that are over 50, 70, 100, or even up to 150 years old now are cleared, what does that mean for the ecosystem that is left? This is a picture of a wombat that has been euthanized. It was found in a collapsed burrow after an excavator had been through clearing the area of forest.
the wombat had a large gash in its head and both its eyes scooped out of its skull this innocent creature wasn't found until five days after the incident this is just one case for one particular species shouldn't we do what is right for the environment before we think about what's right for people energy and resources minister michael o'brien states that our existing mines quarries and gas reserves will not last forever as a government and as a community we need to continue to look for and develop new sources of minerals rock and natural gas if we are to maintain our standard of living this of course is a true statement if we are to maintain our standard of living but is the picture we are looking at too small shouldn't we be more concerned about maintaining the environment for future generations instead of only being concerned about the immediate future if one person can recognize that humans are just another species in the cycle of evolution and that humans are the main cause of most of the world's problems today a second and a third and a fourth person can recognize this too michael o'brien also made the statement this is an area that has been mined in the past this is hardly what you call pristine land given it's been mined previously and logged previously the wombat state forest once had a history of mining it is now home to endemic threatened rare and critically endangered species the forest is also host to the six rivers previously mentioned which provide the community humans flora and fauna with a regular source of drinking water and to reintroduce mining so that humans alone can enjoy the byproduct of gold mining can only be seen as unjust